What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Demi T. I know it's been a long time. Don't judge my life. I am playing catch up on um, a lot of my videos. I think I emphasized in the last video that I worked 27 days. That means I only had three days off the month of December. Um, November was very hectic for me as well. Um, I think I was only getting like two days off a week, but I think two of those weeks I worked like 12 days straight or something like that. So yes, um, don't judge my life. I am a working woman, okay? Um, I am a mama, I am a full-time nurse, uh, full-time travel nurse at one of these hospitals in Atlanta. And I also do PRN and I'm only obligated to like two days a month, but I choose to give more than that because um, Miss Thomas likes her coins. So I am catching up on some of the things that I've been um, shopping for like on my days off. Let me move this camera over. Um, and like, did I order anything? I don't think I ordered any perfume. I think I actually went in store because I'm one of those people, I have to try, I have to literally try things out. Um, because yes, you can look at the reviews and everything, but the scents, like, you don't know how your body metabolizes certain scents and things like that. So it's best for me. I think you should go in the store and try them out. But, um, first of all, um, Let's talk about this makeup. Girl, it's giving. It's so pretty. Yes, honey. So I would not normally be walking around with a face full of makeup on every single day. Um, I actually did a try on haul for my friend girl. Um, she has a scrub line that she's um, started. Actually, I think she's been started up. But um, so she asked me to try on a set of her scrubs and when I say y'all they are so comfy they're soft they fit just right honey um my booty was looking nice and I guess that thing was banging okay and um I love the ruffles on the sleeves like uh, I mean they're super adorable um hopefully y'all will see that on the I think I'm gonna put it in my YouTube shorts yeah, I think I am. I'm going to put in my YouTube shorts or another video or just both of them have actually. And then, um, so yes, that's why I have my makeup on. Um, when I got off, I want to say Friday morning, I shampooed my hair because I had my hair in these rods like for, I don't know, maybe two months. Y'all, when I tell you, um, I am so low maintenance when it comes to this hair. I don't do all that over styling or nothing. I actually give it a chance to grow, like real talk. Um, so I just shampooed it and um, conditioned it, retwisted it. And um, I actually, in fact, I'm going to go get the shampoo for y'all so y'all can see it real quick. Just hold on. Okay. So I actually um, invested in this shampoo, y'all. It's expensive, it was like $18 for the shampoo. Um, Nizarol for psoriasis. Um, it has salicylic acid, 3%, it's a shampoo and conditioner, but of course, you know, we have to share, we have to uh, condition our hair after. It's supposed to control redness, flaking, and scaling, release itchy scalp and irritation, fast acting. Um, sulfate dye and alcohol free definitely you have to go this route but um I do this because I have this terrible 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 dandruff um, that I get on my scalp and I'm thinking it comes from my blood pressure medicines I've been on I'm 39 now um, y'all I'll be 40 this year and y'all gonna be a fine 40 okay still like a baby but um Yes, I've had it since I've been on blood pressure medicine. I've been on blood pressure medicine since I was about 25. And um, it just seems like the older I'm getting, the worse that it is. And um, plus I don't have a lot of, you know, time to sit up here and wash my hair all the time. And, and I don't. I think that's why it grows so fast, y'all. It grows so fast and long. Like my hair, um, I looked at it uh, the other day when I got out the shower. In the back, like, it's maybe like, I'll say about three, four inches from my butts. 
so and y'all this and i mean i've cut it before i cut it back in october 20 i want to say october 2019 i cut it and it was like down here and i cut it into like a little door bob and now look at it um i have a lot of people asking me what in the world do i do to my hair i mean i at least get at least four or five questions a day on my hair like you know working at jobs or being in stores people always compliment me on my hair and ask me about my hair and um i think i might do like a video maybe talking about the vitamins that i take um as well plus my you know my at home maintenance um yes i do sit in a chair every once in a while to get my hair done i'll say maybe every other month i might sit in somebody's chair to just get a good shampoo and let them deal with it but um Y'all, when it's time to get your uh, hairstyle, your maintenance and stuff for locks, you really have to be on top of that. Like, lock appointments are not like regular hair, you know, relaxes, haircuts, all that. Like, and I mean, some people might be booked two months out, but I know as for me, it's hard to get a, an appointment to get my locks done because um, nursing schedules are so crazy. But anyway, um, I went off on my little tangent, but yes, I did do my own hair this time. I think I did a good job. Y'all, you know, these edges don't ever look like that. So I promise you, this is probably going to last every bit of, it's, it's been about 30 minutes now. I give it another, another 30 minutes to an hour and they're going to be back toe up again. Um, cause I do have that 4C, I don't know if it's a 4Z, please let me know. Cause if that is it, if it is so, that's this head, this head right here, these edges. It is Negro spiritual tough, honey. But yes, um. So I bought this Dermasolve for psoriasis as well. And this is for Sebar, separated, I don't child, dermatitis, I don't know, I can't ever say that name. For some reason, for the last few months, I have not been able to say that word in in cephalopathy, I don't know. Some days I can say it, some days I can't. Um, that's a lack of, of sleep and, and, and working too damn much, that's what that is. But um, yes, I got this from Amazon actually. They have their shampoos and, and oils as well. But um, I didn't really see great. I mean, the reviews was okay, but it, it wasn't enough to convince me to wanna buy it when it comes to their shampoo and conditioner. Um, so I just went with the um, dandruff cream and um, we're gonna see how this works out. Um, I, you're supposed to put it on like two or three times a day, but child, I sleep. So um, it'll probably be once a day for me. That's, that's even if I get to that point. But so far, I mean, my scalp has not been itching. Normally my scalp can flake like the next day and it hasn't. So I'm pleased with it. But yes, this is the combination I've been using in my hair right now. And uh, before we get to um, talking about um, these perfumes that I bought. Let's talk about this set from Target that I got. Honey, this is cute. So I bought this last night at Target when I was out with my daughter. It is very, very comfortable. Um, I think the top was either 12 and the bottoms was 15. I'm not sure. Hold on, let me see. I'm gonna move this chair so y'all can see it. So it's by this brand called Cozy. And yeah, so um, honey, this good. Don't worry about that. Honey, your sis is bloated. Honey, I just ate some rice, and rice is not my friend. So yes, but um, I love this set. It's so cute. Very very comfy. Target be having going on, y'all. We'll see about them. All right, y'all. So now I can start on my little mini perfume haul real quick. So first, I'm going to go with um, the Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. Um, this right here, I think I bought this from Sephora. Um, I am a fan of Tom Ford. So this is a really good scent like to wear in the evening, maybe like date night or something. Me and my daughter had a date night back in November. We went to see um, Wakanda Forever Black Panther. It was great. But um, yes, this Tom Ford Velvet Orchid, y'all, so pretty. 
looks just like royalty purple oh y'all when i tell you like this can go for a man as well like i think i would like to smell this on a man but it smelled great on me as well one of my favorite scents to smell in perfume is bergamot when i tell you i love me some bergamot i think every perfume i have might have well the majority of my perfumes like perfumes i'll say has bergamot in it but um tom ford velvet orchid smells like bergamot um like a touch of honey citrus and just like flowers like orchids you know and orchids is one of my favorite flowers i actually have some in my bathroom now some purple ones but um honey like I always said, if I wanted to get married, cause I mean, that's not top priority in my life. Most of the time I don't think I want to get married, but that's another story, we ain't gonna talk about that. But um, yes, honey, um, orchids was one of the things I wanted to have like in my wedding if I ever did that. But honey, it smells fabulous. Love it, love it, love it. I want to say this bottle might've been 160, 170. This is the 30 ounce. Um, so I'm not quite sure, I can't remember. But um, y'all, it smells so, so good. Very sexy, very, very sexy. And then next we're going to go with the Jo Malone Myrrh and Tonka. So I heard so many great things about this perfume on um, with some of the YouTube girls. So I decided to try it myself. And the great thing I love about Jo Malone is um they are awesome about giving samples i believe i bought this from i don't know if i got it from Saks fifth avenue or neiman marcus i can't remember y'all i do a lot of shopping so don't judge my life um i had the mimosas and cardamom and chow when i take that's my like one of my favorite fragrances to wear like in the summertime i love it but this right here is the merton tonka and this is definitely a unisex fragrance. And when I tell you, you child. Mm. Y'all, I am not a fan of vanilla, but this winter, I've been feeling vanilla. And it might come from me smelling my daughter all the time. My daughter, she wears a lot of sweet smells and stuff. But this one, this one right here, you can actually like add to it build onto it with something else like i ain't really found a lot of things that just don't go with um myrrh and tonka and i love it it smells like it's like a rich like i said vanilla is it's a rich rich vanilla i mean it's delicious and the amber in it is very like it's woody um it's just it's just very very sensual i love it I'm tempted to spray it on myself now, but child, I'm gonna go take me a shower and get this makeup off and go lay down somewhere. But y'all, this is like delicious. Um, I even feel like it'll smell good with that frankincense, well, excuse me, with that um, that mimosas and cardamom. But um, y'all got me feeling like I wanna buy a bottle of perfume this week. Let's see what else it'll go with. I have another perfume that I think it'll smell good with, and I'm gonna show that in a minute. Um, but yes, this smells so, so good. And I tell you, it's, it's so rich. Let me see, what else did I get? Um, and like I said, child, I meant to say about them, what I said about them samples. Honey, they are the best at giving samples. Every time I go in there, they give nice samples. Um, this one is the English Pear and Freesia. That's another one of those. Let's see. This is wood, sage, and sea salt. I heard good things about that one. Um, I don't know why this child gave me so many of the same ones, but like I said, they are pretty good about giving samples, and that's nice. I don't have to have them, but it is nice to do samples, you know. And let's see. My next one is commodity. I had to rip you back again. This is Commodity Velvet. This is the bold. And I got this one from Sephora as well. And this one has vanilla behind it again. Now, I don't know what it is about the vanilla. Um, 
I've definitely been into some vanilla this winter. And like I said, it's not one of my favorite scents. Um, let's see. The packaging is cute though. I like that, that bowl of black. Okay. Oh, this is the bowl, I can't remember. I don't think it is. I think the bowl is like, like um, has the rose gold on it. But this one right here, I'm gonna have to spray it in here. Commodity Velvet. So this one, it's not really strong. This is the expressive one. I probably should have got the bold, but I don't want to smell too loud, you know? But the Commodity Velvet, um, this is very, it's, it's warm, it's spicy. Um, I can definitely smell the amber behind it. The vanilla isn't too strong on it and it's supposed to have like a roasted almond smell to it. For me, I feel I feel like the rose amber st stands out the most. It smells good though, but like I said, I really think um, that frankincense, excuse me, I, I really do think the Joe Malone um, myrrh and tonka might smell good with that. And I probably should have got the bowl. I don't know. I can always go back and get it, but um, it's okay. it's okay. It's not strong. Like it's okay. It's not my favorite. I mean, I can always take it back to Sephora and get the bowl. We'll see. Hopefully, I ain't passed what thirty days. I don't know. I don't think it is because I, like I said, I did all this in like December. So we'll see. But it's okay. It's not a bad smell. Um, it's not exactly what I thought it would be. Um, I really think I, I might have picked the wrong box. Ain't no telling, child. We'll see. But yes, that's it for commodity. And like I said, that came from Sephora. And then last but not, oh, no, not last but not least. My bad. I have another one. See how I shop too damn much. Um, this is the Madison Avenue Bond number nine. So actually I bought two, four, five. That's a shame. I bought five bottles of perfume between November and December. So this is the Madison Avenue Bond number nine. Love it, love it, love it. This smells really good too, y'all child is fresh 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 love it so the bond number nine madison avenue for me i love this smell it's so so fresh it's sexy let me see so see the box yes i love the bond number nine madison um avenue y'all it is so fresh it's like well child this is something like i can really i think i can bust this down every day so this smells like well like i said definitely it's very very fresh like you can smell the florals behind it um you could definitely smell the jasmine and the magnolia in it um it's got a hint of apple i smell that and um I believe the bases are patchouli and blackberry. I believe that's where the fruitiness comes from, the blackberry in it. And also my favorite bergamot is in it. So yes, this is something I feel like I could wear every day. It smells so, so good. And I believe I got this one from, y'all do a lot of shopping. Where did I get this from? Sex Fifth Avenue? I believe it did come from Saks. I was down in Lenox one day. I believe it did come from them. Don't judge my life. I can't remember. But I'm um, last. Now, this is definitely last but not least. My last one, and um, I saw... Actually, my daughter told me about it first. And then I saw, like, the YouTube girls talking about it as well. So, I was like, let me try it. This is um, Delena Perfumes de Marley. Yes, when I smell this, like, like there's another one looks just like it. 
um it wasn't really giving what i wanted to give but then something told me to try the one that they had furthest to the back of it and when i tell you i feel so in love with this it just smells so good and it's such a tiny 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 bottle um this one is the 30 ounce as well y'all i'll stop buying i said i told myself i'm gonna stop buying all these big ass bottles of perfume because i mean i have so many of them and it's not like i'm spreading them out every single day or something like that like i do wear a fragrance every day i go to work but yeah i'm just not gonna keep giving them all my um all this money on these big ass bottles of perfume you know mm -mm. just buy some like your favorites or whatever you know those i'll probably get them in a bigger bottle but um if i you know just want to try something i'm gonna start getting these these 30 ounces or maybe like a little tiny bigger or something but yeah anyway don't don't have me go out on no tangent y'all because i will but this y'all Ooh, yeah, this smells fresh too i love a good fresh smelling perfume so delina is definitely floral i love peonies it smells like peonies and roses definitely the peony is like kaboom for me i definitely smell that and you know child it's got bergamot in it love me some bergamot yes but um you can smell like There's some warmth to it, and I want to say, because I cook, so maybe nutmeg. That might be it. I don't know, y'all, but it smells so good. This is so fresh, too. It's very feminine. I believe this is something you can you can probably touch down on every day as well. But y'all, the YouTube girls, they were not lying. It smells so, so good. I wore this um, outside of the store and I wanna say I bought it, it was like early, not early in the morning, but I mean, it was early enough. It was kind of like 11. And I think that evening I still smelled it on my body. So I love it, I love it, love it. So yes, this is my little mini perfume haul. Um, I promise y'all 2023, I am going to do better. Um, for any of y'all that understand healthcare and um, the way these schedules roll and you know, getting this travel money, like when it's there, it's there, you need to go get it. And I'm definitely one of those that, that loves her coins and she's gonna go get it any opportunity that she can but um for those who have not judged me about my absence i thank you for your patience if y'all want to see more uh, perfume hauls or anything like that um just drop the fragrance down in the comments and i'll check it out and i'll try to respond and you know try to go catch up on that bottle and you know see what i have to say about it as well um don't forget to like share subscribe um information if you've got something you want to send me um, for me to try um i definitely do that as well just hit me up in my email and um i'm gonna eventually get a p.o box if there's something that y'all want me to try as well if you want to send me anything but thank you for tuning in love y'all and i will talk to y'all soon bye